Hey, hello, it's Scott here. Uh, just picked this up, arrived in the mail just uh, the other day. A um, diplexer, duplexer. Uh, this one does not just VHF, UHF, but it goes uh, all the way down to HF. So you can have an HF and then a UHF, or a VHF and a UHF. Basically anything plus a UHF antenna to go in at the same time. Price was pretty reasonable as well, about half the price of what I expected. Uh, most of them are a hundred dollars or so. This one was an awful lot less than that. Um, I did pay for it with my own money and I'm just going to um, do a little video today on um, what the SWR on my two separate VHF and UHF antennas looks like and then what it looks like if you just combine them with a T-piece and what you get when you put it through the actual duplexer diplexer and you will then find out the reason why we don't just use T-pieces to connect two different antennas together. All right I'm going to get out the uh, Nano VNA and let's have a look at these two antennas. Here's the trace for my VHF antenna. It's a stainless steel folded dipole. So it doesn't do quite so well on UHF, even though uh, uh, it's slightly tuned towards it. Uh, but the, um, the SWR down in the uh, VHF handband, 144 to 148, is quite good. Uh, not a bad antenna, and uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Moving on to the UHF antenna, it's a uh, about a eight foot long uh, fiberglass, and uh, it's got quite a lot of uh, gain. And you can see it's not all that good down at the uh, VHF, uh, but quite good all the way through UHF. Um, SWR bounces up and down quite a bit up there. I think that's just due to the design. Anyway, let's have a look and see what happens when you combine them together just using a T-piece. Now, this is how I'm going to do it. And these are the results. You can see the SWR is all over the place, jumping up and down, carrying on. And that's because the two SWRs for each antenna are combining. So occasionally they'll add together occasionally they'll subtract not a good look so how do we fix this well if you have a look at the duplexer you'll see on the inside you've got a, the UHF side on the left the VHF side on the right the UHF side is a high pass and the VHF side is low pass and if you look closely, you can see that the way that everything is soldered together is opposite on either side to make it high pass and low pass. Now, the reason I've got the cover on it is not just to show you uh, what it looks like inside. It wasn't exactly set up to suit my situation, uh, but you can see you can adjust these coils with um, a pair of pliers, etc. And I just move the ply uh, sorry move the coils around a little bit backwards and forwards uh, while watching it until I got the very best match I could and this is the result you can see really good SWR down in the um, uh, VHF and then a very large peak in the middle where uh, there's no hand band here in Australia anywhere and then nice low SWR all the way up in the UHF. So there you have it. Uh, quite a good little duplexer. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you're new. Uh, I have videos of lots of different things. Uh, have a look in the uh, back catalogue. You'll probably find something else that you're interested in. And uh, if you put a like and a subscribe and a comment on there, I'd appreciate it. It helps the algorithm. If you go back and have a look at all the camping and uh, car videos, uh, leave some comments on them as well so that I can just gauge what people are more interested in and uh, I'll happily make more of that content.
All right, thanks. See you later.